This is actually a joke and at least I had my matcha. Thank gosh for drinks because this is the only thing that's getting me through this right now. Let's do a closet clean out declutter because as you guys can see, well, you can only see like a quarter of it, but my bedroom is overflowing. As you can tell, I don't have enough space. I have jackets hanging off the back of my door. Basically, I live at home, so I don't have like a walk-in wardrobe or bathroom or anything. So all my clothes pretty much stay in my room, which is fine. But that means that I run out of space and I have clothes all over my floor and you guys can't even see how bad it is. But I'm going to show you. Okay, please do not judge the state of it. I have clothes everywhere. Everywhere. it's literally a mountain growing in my room and this is my wardrobe and as you can see it is filled right to the broom so at least for today I want to try organize this mess because it is absolutely insane and they say when you have a cluttered space you have a cluttered mind and I completely agree with that because usually this is stuff from like when I'm filming for TikTok and things like that and I also want to try go through this little ottoman and get anything out that I didn't wear this winter because now in Australia we're going to summer so I want to see if there's anything that I can chuck out and be put into that ottoman because I usually keep like winter long sleeves and like skirts and it's in there I don't even know if I'm going to be able to organize all of this today because it is just a lot i also keep a lot of like winter knits and jumpers up there and like hats over there and like jackets and dresses on that side you also know it's serious business when island is wearing bike shorts because i never wear bike shorts unless it's something very important and this is like my cleaning fit okay don't judge me okay let's start by organizing this pile so i have a bunch of princess poly clothes because i did a video for them on tiktok it was free stuff they just sent to me but i didn't get paid for anything and this isn't an ad either okay and i have this card you can use my discount code if you want i don't earn anything from this discount code it's just so that you guys can save some money it's island 20 if you want to save 20 off if you order from princess polly okay it's there if you want to save some money i swear i do not earn anything from that this is not an ad i'm just trying to help you guys also i hope this mic is okay it's on my shirt but i don't know if it's like really bad audio i also got this really gorgeous score it's literally a score how amazing it's got little pockets on it so if you're going to a festival or something it is amazing okay also from princess polly but i think it's by lioness i am so excited to wear that okay i have my dressing gown that i wore this morning while i got ready so that can get hung up oh this is so like i can't do this it's one o'clock in the afternoon i've been shopping all day this is the last thing i feel like doing but okay if you're someone who's also hoarding and you need to clean out play this video and let's do it together okay because that's what we're here for i have a lot of denim as well like denim jeans oh it's ridiculous i don't have space for it what am i gonna do guys seriously first of all problems i'm so lucky and blessed that this is my you know addiction like i could have worse addictions but buying clothes is my addiction which i would say that's a pretty good addiction okay do i move all this stuff onto my bed and then clean out the ottoman and then i can put things in the ottoman or do i organize the piles first i don't know where to begin this is so much honestly right now i just feel like laying on my bed drinking my matcha and watching a movie like i'm just a girl oh i love this pink top where's this from also from princess polly i swear guys i love princess polly it's this pink button up long sleeve and it like flares out at the bottom it's so pretty i've literally never worn it because i don't go out of the house where i don't ever have a chance to wear it that's just life of an introvert <laughs> This is not a cute angle, but it's gonna have to do. Okay, I have a pile of pants here that I already started the other day because slay okay i'm amazing and you talk to yourself like you're amazing and you're your own best friend sometimes i feel like i can't even speak english because i try and speak so fast but you get me hopefully you guys get me i'm so overwhelmed i just want to cry like, i don't even know where to begin i feel like i'm just moving things from one side of my room to the other because that's all that i can do also i already have three or four garbage bags in the garage of stuff that i need to donate and take to charity because a couple months ago i did a big clean out and we're back here again and i still didn't take that bag to charity so i think i might do a market store okay let's take this stuff off oh my gosh i am so overwhelmed like where do i even put these heels i have some heels under this thing i have books and i have heels under here and slippers what the heck to be honest i did not go through this and clean it out because i know every single thing in here i wore maybe not everything but most things let's just not look at it it's not gonna close properly i know chad's gonna kill me when he comes over oh, guys i'm being such a baby and this is not the example that i want to set for you guys but sometimes there's just those days where you just have to accept it and also i got my female cycle and i haven't had it for five or six months because i came off the pill at the start of the year so i have a lot going on at the moment and i'm gonna treat myself with a lot of love and care and respect so it is okay i think when i go through my shorts and my skirts up there i might be able to put some of the skirts from here into there so then i can actually close this so technically this is like a comeback to later situation now here i have some pajamas that won't fit up in that cupboard so we definitely need to go through the pajamas together oh, why do i do this to myself oh my gosh this is gonna be like a landslide oh oh, oh my gosh i'm scared Oh my gosh, ow! Huh, there's a whole bunch of clothes <laughs> stuck to the side of the wall and it's like shaped perfectly to the wall. Whenever my mum comes in my room, she goes, island. But you know where I get it from? 
I get it from my mummy, okay? She is the reason why I have this clothing problem. So, you know, not my fault. <laughs> it looks like I'm not wearing shorts, but I am. Just accept the fact that this is the vibe for today. Okay, I think I'm gonna make piles of skirts, shorts, and then like soft pants. All the long pants and stuff like that can go at the bottom because obviously we're going into summer. I love this little skirt. My mum gave me that. I have so many denim shorts and jaws. It's actually ridiculous, but I'm not gonna throw any out. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of these shorts. I got them from Cotton On. They're like a pair of swim shorts. I know my mum really likes them, so she will probably take them so I know that they'll still be in this house, but they won't be in my cupboard. Oh, I love this skirt. I've got a matching top that goes with it, but someone on Instagram messaged me because I worked to a Nessa Barrett concert and said it looks like their grandma's couch. And that made me really sad. But I think it's cute and I'm keeping it. I don't know when I'll wear it again, but I will. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I'll keep it. Oh, see, should I have this mindset? Like what if when I chuck this out, I have an occasion where I'm like, I need that skirt. And then I remember that I threw it out. See, that happens to me all the time. Oh, I love these shorts, but they're probably going to be too tight for me this summer. Oh my gosh. You know when you find a pair of clothes from like a period of your life? These? Oh my gosh. These were my old retail pants. I used to wear these to work. So I worked at TK Maxx for like six years, if you guys didn't know. I would wear these pants to work all the time because we weren't allowed to wear leggings, but we had to wear like long pants basically. And we had no air con. I had to wear long pants and they were these because they were like the loosest, like most comfiest pants. But I think it's time to say goodbye. I don't know. Every time I look at them, I just think of that time in my life and I think it's time to say goodbye because I'm never going back. It's such a weight off your shoulders when you freaking get rid of something that reminds you of like a bad time of your life. But then there's clothes that I'm like, oh, I remember when I wore this to eat lunch with my sister. And I'm like, I can't throw the piece of clothing out because it has that memory. Like I attach memories to clothing so much and that's not good. I wish I was a person that could just be like, yeah, I don't care. Like Chad's mum, she's like that. And I wish I had that. I'm too emotional and sensitive, but that's a good thing. Okay, it's a blessing. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of these shorts. I haven't worn them in so long and they're like a little bit small for me and I'm just gonna be realistic and chuck some of this stuff I'm like what when did I get this I don't recall getting you I don't know I think I'm gonna have to chuck them I chuck I mean donate okay guys I'm not actually chucking clothes in the bin no okay that is the short and the skirts for now it is overflowing and this is the stuff that I can't fit into it so I'm gonna put this on top of the ottoman for now and come back to that actually i'm probably not going to come back to it i think it's probably going to live there because i don't know where else to put it guys like i get that this is like for like a normal person but i'm not a normal person because fashion is my passion i like outfits so this isn't like like you know something that i would have if i lived out of home if i lived out of home i would build myself a carrie bradshaw sex in the city wardrobe okay if you know you know okay time for the pjs this is going to be insane i just know it's going to go everywhere okay i think i'm going to get rid of this pajama set i know they're like kind of cute i think i literally have worn them once i bought them from TK Maxx on like one of my very first shifts when I got my staff discount I was like oh like I felt so cute earning money and buying you know a first PJ set they're kind of like a hot material and in Australia when you're sleeping at night you practically have to sleep naked because it gets so hot donation I'm separating it into like winter pajamas and then like summer like cute sets I'm also making a pile of Christmas pajamas oh my gosh I have these Grinch pajamas I can't find oh the top's right here oh my gosh I also have this gingerbread pair Oh my gosh. And I also have this pair. I'm so excited. I feel like I talk about like Australia and like the weather a lot in my videos, but I don't know. I think it's, I'm passionate about it, I guess. And then I go on my Instagram and my TikTok and people are having hot chocolates and sitting by fireplaces. And it's like, that's not real. Like to me, that just does not seem real. Oh, I love this pajama set. I got this from White Fox. It is so beautiful. Look at that. And then look at the little shorts. Like they're very see-through. So like they're not family friendly, but they are so cute. They're so girly and I love it. I could like actually wear this out. I think I'm also going to get rid of this Calvin Klein t-shirt. I used to wear this to work. I think I'm going to give it to my mom because I think she'll wear it. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I will take my dad's t-shirts all the time. Like I have so many of my dad's t-shirts. Anytime he's like, I'm going to throw out a t-shirt. I will be like, no, no, no. Let me have it, please. Like, I don't care if it's got holes in it. I don't care if it's got coffee stains. Like I will take my dad's t-shirts all the time. I don't know why like i literally don't care how gross his t-shirts are like i want my dad's t-shirts they're like the perfect amount of worn in and they're so comfy and soft and they just i don't know they're nice vibes okay we're starting to get towards the bottom of the crate and i think these are things i'm probably gonna throw out because they're winter things and i just realized i didn't wear them all winter so they obviously don't matter a lot to me but i do have this long sleeve set which i also got from tk maxx and it is so comfy realistically i just didn't wear it maybe i guess that means i have too much so I'm going to donate it. Someone who really needs it will benefit from that. And I don't. So that's what's making me get rid of it. I think it's time to say goodbye. But this is this is a really hard goodbye. I need to sit down for this. These also make the butt look really good. And I'm so sad. Oh my gosh. No looking, no looking. We can't go back now. Ugh. Get rid of that. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I forgot I had a onesie. I'm never gonna wear this, like, be for real. I need to be honest, stop. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. I've got a massive pile on the floor of stuff I've gotten rid of. Okay, you guys have no idea how amazing this is for me. Okay, I am both excited and scared for this because I'm excited because I get to sit on the floor and rest my legs, which is very lovely. But I am not excited because it is probably the worst department. The shirts and the active wear, it is a mountain, okay? It's not good, it's not funny, Island. Stop laughing. Mom, get a photo. It's gonna look like that after but it's gonna be a little bit more organized i think the thing is that everybody needs to accept that this is my hobby it's not the fact i have too many clothes it's the fact that i just don't have the space for it that's the problem oh my gosh there are so many mosquitoes flying out of my cupboard it's actually ridiculous all gonna attack me tonight and that is not okay it's just never ending i'm drowning in clothing i don't think you guys understand how many clothes are sitting right in front of you like it is up to my ribs up to my tartars like from the floor up there is a part and there's still so much in here you know how some of that material like gets like little balls on it and like you try and pull them off but like they don't come off how do i fix that because i have some singlets that i wore like jumpers with and they have that issue and i don't know how to get rid of it i know my mom said to like use a razor but she was like be careful like you'll ruin your clothes so now i'm too scared to do that but i still want to fix my clothes oh i love this top this is from tiger mist oh my gosh i'm such a tiger mist fan i forgot about this i'm gonna fall asleep on this pile right now I also want to quickly show you guys this hack. Okay, if you have like an old skirt that, you know, you can adjust, like it doesn't have a zipper or anything, but you love it so much, but it doesn't fit you around the hips. If you're like me, like you're bigger on the bottom, but you're like smaller up top, use your skirt as a top, okay? Tie your skirt as a top. Like, look at that. Like, it's got like a little tie on the top so I can like, you know, make it a bit tighter. Just my little hack. Go try it. Okay, I think I'm going to get rid of this top. It's the halter top. And you have these two like long strings and you can tie it around yourself like that and make it look really cute but i honestly have just never worn it and i'm like i'm not gonna wear it this year i haven't worn it for the past like three years okay if you want some inspo for like how to organize your piles i'm organizing into like singlets like basic singlets and then like nicer singlets and then have like going out tops and then like you know like chill at home tops i used to be obsessed with singlets like this i've just come to realize that they're not flattering on me like they just sit so high up and it's just not flattering on my body shape so i'm gonna get rid of it i've got a couple like this i've got this blue one i've got a gray one and other colors you hey guys i wore this whole top to the errors tour oh my gosh i don't know if you guys can see but it has like a little butterfly in the middle i was going for like fearless folklore it brings back such good memories okay i know that i'm not done i have done a lot today and i think that's all i'm going to do for this video because it's been a really long day it's like 5 30 i'm hungry i have my period i'm overdue for just taking off my makeup and relaxing But I really hope that this inspired you to clean out your closet because trust me, if I could do all that just in like three or four hours, you can do it. Okay, I promise you, you can do it. It's all up here. I want you guys to let me know your storage hacks, tricks and tips, please, because I would be so grateful and so appreciative if you could please tell me, you know, ways to store your jeans or like, what can I do? Like, should I put clothes under my bed? Like, do I, am I getting to that stage where I need to be storing clothes under my bed? Because I think I might be at that stage where I need to get something to put under my bed where I can put all my jeans in and just slide it underneath. I know this was kind of like a different video from me, but I think sometimes it's good to just show a raw and real day in my life and this was a closet clean out so make sure you go do a declutter okay you can do it if you want to keep up with me on a daily basis go follow my instagram and my tiktok at islandcard underscore and my snapchat is islandcarder16 i love you guys so much just remember you are beautiful okay bye